Hi, it's Ian David Chapman from Crowd Conversion, and today I'm going to talk about plugins that you can use on your WordPress blog. So right now I'm on Mashable, which is one of the most popular social media websites. And if you look on the left-hand side of their blog post, they've got this great little widget which you can use to get people to tweet or Google Plus One or share your, your posts on Facebook. They've actually got Facebook comments. That's probably why they haven't got the Facebook on the side here. They want people to make comments on Facebook. So yeah, you can see underneath the post, they have the like and the send. So what I'm gonna to show you today is how you can put something like this on your own WordPress blog. It's very simple. You just need the right plugin. Okay, so I'm in the dashboard in our crowd conversion blog, one of our crowd conversion blogs. And I'm just going to go on the left hand side and click on add new plugin. So I'm going to search for it. I'm just going to put in Twitter, Facebook, social share. So if you put that into the search, click on search plugins. So here you see is add Twitter, Facebook, like Google plus one social share. So I've actually already got this installed. And when you've installed it, you just click on activate. Here you see just here. So there's a couple of settings that you might need to adjust. So I'm going to scroll down to the, on the left hand side under settings. It says TF social share. And here you basically get a set of general options. So this you can decide which social media sites you want to have visible on your button. So you can have Facebook like Twitter, StumbleUpon, Google Plus One or LinkedIn. And you can decide which pages you want them to appear on. And you can also choose the position this is important so on mashable if you look on mashable you can see they've got theirs on the left hand side so with this one if you click on that so the left floating is only available for single posts and static pages by default the bar is going to be displayed above your above the post so here you can also specify the spacing and the top spacing how far down it wants and whether you want it to be in a fixed position or whether you want it to be in an absolute position. That basically means if you look on Mashable, as you scroll down, that this thing stays where it is, it's at the top. So you want it to you want it to stay at the top of the post so that as people scroll down, they can still click on this. It's still visible throughout the whole post. So that's what that one does. And you can specify the, the widths and sizes if you've got a specific format on your blog and you want to make it bigger or smaller. You can do that and you can choose whether you have a counter on Google Plus, LinkedIn or Twitter. So all you do is just click on save changes. I'm going to go to the blog and I'm just going to show you what it actually looks like. So here you can see across the top, I've got a like, a plus one, a tweet, a LinkedIn and a stumble upon. So I actually defined it. I wanted it to be on the left hand side. But I'm just going to click here on the post and there you can see it's on the left hand side it's actually quite a, a long way over to the left so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in I'm going to move that over more like Mashable have it so it's going to be more in line with the post and this is how you do that it's going to go back to my dashboard I'm going to click on the settings and I'm going to do the left side spacing and I'm going to change the pixel to maybe, let's say, 200 pixels. I'm just going to see what that looks like. So I'm going to go back to the post. In. I actually want it to be a little bit more. This might, You might want to check this on, on another laptop because if, if depending on... Um, what size screen people are viewing this on, it might be different. So let's try 400. And I'm going to save the changes. I'm going to go back to the post and see if it's exactly where I want it. Okay, that's just where I want it. I want it on the left hand side. So now as you scroll down, it's moving down like that. So you can also put in your Twitter ID if you want it. I also recommend making sure that you keep this load JavaScript in the footer. This is definitely recommended. This is going to speed up um, how fast your blog page loads. One of the mistakes that a lot of people make when they first get a blog 
is they're going to add lots and lots of widgets and things that use JavaScript. And most blog themes, they load them in the header. And this takes a lot of time when your blog's loading up. So if you go to some people's blog, it can take you know a few mo few minutes for the blog to load each page because they've got so many widgets and things. Right now, this is very clean. I'm using the thesis theme, which also has loads in JavaScript in the footer. It's a very good theme. I highly recommend it. And I haven't really. I'm still building this blog out now. This is just a new blog that we've created for our our list subscribers. Okay, I'm now going to just quickly jump over to my laptop and just double check. One thing I'd always recommend if you're ever going to use any plugins or anything, always check on different browsers and different laptops what the effects are. Because if you're using a big screen and you make a setting like a, a margin setting, it might be slightly different when you come to use it on a different PC or computer. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've just switched over to my laptop and as you can see when I load up this page look where it is it's stuck right in the middle of the web page so if I hadn't taken a couple of moments just to quickly check on my laptop I could have looked very stupid to lots of people who had been then sending me emails saying hey you know you know your share buttons in the wrong place so I'm just going to quickly log in and fix that so hopefully I'll have that corrected in a few moments now I've just corrected it and I've just changed the settings instead of to 400, I've put them back down to 100. And now on my laptop, it's just displaying in this way. And I'll quickly now jump back over onto my main computer and you'll see how that displays there. Okay, I'm now back on my 24 inch screen and as you can see, it's back on the left hand side. So now when I scroll up and down, this is the position that it's going to be on this page because I really want it's important most people are actually viewing web pages using a laptop not on big screen so I need to make sure that wherever I place it it caters for them and it's not taking over the the real estate on the page and it's fine on, on this side okay that's it for now I hope you enjoyed the video I hope that you actually take action and install this plugin on your website and let me know how you get on. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.